and welcome back to Let's Play Story of Seasons, A Wonderful Life. All right, let's get our milk. I think I've already watered my crops, but I'll go double check that. Actually, no, I don't think I've watered them. I have replanted, but I think I need to water and fertilize. Yeah, the soil is looking a bit light there. Oh, also it is uh, van day. So that means someone is ready to be sheared. So we'll get that sold off. So that's a good chunk of money right there. I do kind of am glad, or do, I am glad I kind of picked up an extra sheep. I think the wool is definitely going to help out in the long run. It's just not like as reliable, I guess, at, or not reliable, but not as like steady as milk is. <clears throat> also, I think I forgot to bring the chickens inside last night. Whoops. Well, I guess it doesn't, <clears throat> it doesn't really matter. Honestly, maybe we should just leave the chickens outdoors and just kind of find eggs as we come across them. Because yeah, you know what I do wish I, they put in this game? I kind of miss the old, like, semi-chicken feeding area they put in another Wonderful Life. We just kind of have to hunt down our chickens every time we want to get eggs from them. Also, I keep forgetting I have the fish pie in my inventory. Hey. I kind of want to just keep it there for now. If I come across someone who likes it, I'll give it to them. Alright. Once again, I'll try haggling with Van, but something tells me it won't, uh, it won't really lead to anything. It does definitely seem like he doesn't want to give me more money for things I sell him, but we'll see. Maybe we'll get lucky. Do I need to buy more fertilizer? No, I think I'm good, pretty good in my... Yeah, I'm pretty good in terms of my stocks. Oh yeah, did I ever figure out what Grant... Or, sorry. Garrett likes? You like milk, don't you? How about like... Oh, do you like soup? I forget. I tried this already, right? Yeah, okay, you don't take this. I'll figure out what you like again. I think it was like milk and stuff, right? Well, we'll see. Uh, no, I won't. I barely opened up my shop. Alright. So, will you give me some extra money for this? Just, uh, just asking for a friend. Yeah, I don't think you're gonna... I don't think you're gonna bargain with me on that. Oh, well. Well, money's money. Alright, anything good? Oh, the tools. Huh, do you not sell upgraded clippers or anything? Oh, the goat, too. And the denim. Okay, you know what? I'm buying the denim. I want to get myself a new outfits every chance I get. And... You know what? I'm gonna save my money. I'm going to actually be smart and not buy tool upgrades I don't need at the moment. We can do that anytime during the year. So I'm gonna save my money for now, get the field upgrade, and then upgrade my tools. Because with the better field, we'll have more room to plant more stuff, so I can go even crazier. And thanks to my upgrade watering can, I can actually afford to do that and not pass out every day. So yeah, right now we're just going to save our money, be smart. Nothing's ready to grow or harvest, right? Nope. But yeah, we'll be smart, save our money, get the good field, make more money in the long run, and then I'm going to blow it all on stupid stuff. I guess tool upgrades aren't stupid stuff. If anything, the new de fully denim outfit I bought today might be considered dumb. But hey, fashion matters, okay? You gotta look good while farming. 
So you gotta make sure you wear a nice outfit like... Okay, maybe this outfit isn't the best looking. We'll wear it anyways. Oh, whoops, I didn't hit confirm. I bought it, I'll wear it. I'm pretty sure this is the, uh... Actually, I'm not sure which outfit this one is. I could have sworn I've seen it before. Well, anyways, we'll wear it for a little while. Oh, right, before I uh, do my afternoon chores, I almost forgot. Guy, do they have any other cursed recipes for me to try cooking up? Oh, Vesta's out of the farm. I feel like we haven't seen Vesta out of the farm for a while. Hey, Lou. Do you like fish? No? Okay. Uh, do you like flowers? Yep, there you go. Oh, speaking of fish, I should probably go find Carter at some point. I want to build my friendship with him next because he has a record hidden behind him. So I'll make sure to give him some fish every chance I get. Oh, soup. Oh, no, just super sashimi. Can I just get a regular sashimi? That can't be that hard to cook, right? It's just fish. And, no, there wouldn't even be any extra ingredients in there. It would just be fish. Actually, I wonder. Let me see if I can just freely cook sashimi. Because <clears throat> usually in every other game, it's literally just fish and nothing. And you can make sashimi with that. I wonder if that's the case in this game. Well, why don't we find out? Oh, actually, let me check out that new recipe first. Uh... Is it just two types of fish? Oh, I think it's just two different types of fish. Actually, wait, if that's the case... What if I just make an hors d'oeuvre with just one fish? Because, yeah, I only have scat on me. Oh! I just made normal sashimi. Okay. Uh, I think I just found my new go-to dish. Because this is nothing but one piece of fish, right? Yep, I know what I'm making from now on. I'm going to be a sashimi chef. Actually, I want to see something, too. Oh, is Van still in town? Hold on. Oh, I think he's about to close. I want to see how much this sells for compared to just fish. What time is it? I think he closes at 6. Okay, if we hurry. Actually, no. Has he closed already? I might have skipped through the message. No, he's open. Perfect. All right, let me see some prices, then. So how much of a profit would I get? So, sashimi is 15. Wow, never mind. Apparently turning into sashimi makes it go down in value, which isn't how it works in real life. Usually you have to pay more once it's sashimi and all like prepared for you and cut up just right. Apparently not here, though. Cutting it up makes the price go down. I don't know. Maybe we're just... Oh. Maybe we're just really bad at making sashimi. It's not, like, perfectly cut. It's literally just chunks of meat. Be my friend. One day you'll give me the record you're holding on to. Alright, I have work to do. Let's go back and uh, take care of our farm work. But yeah, definitely want to cook more, because we still need to unlock desserts and entrees. I don't know, I kind of like having my chickens free roam. 
It's like a nice little surprise when you're running through the field and you suddenly run into a chicken. And they have an egg underneath them. Also, uh... Pudding, you okay? You've been staring at the bell for like the last two days. I'm sure she's fine. Or maybe she's just stuck. I am gonna need to go buy more fertilizer, it looks like. Okay, I'll buy more fertilizer tomorrow. No crops are ready today. They will be soon, though. I hope. Also, before I forget... Let's water the trees that still need it. Okay. So crops have been taken care of, animals are good. Let's get some money coming in. Yeah, I guess it is only 15, huh? Maybe we're just really bad at cooking. Having fun with that toy car. Oh, it's gonna rain soon. Huh. Alright, if it's rain tomorrow, I think I'm gonna... Oh, that's a sad dream. Uh, sure. Oh, that's sweet of you. Speaking of the barn animals, did you let them inside? It's kind of pouring outside right now. Nice, cozy, rainy day. Alright, everyone get inside. I don't want you guys to get sick. Not that you can't, I don't think you can get sick in this game. Actually, no, you might be able to get sick. I don't think you can die from it. Oh, I guess I should cut some fodder before I go in, too. I feel like rainy days are a good chance to do this. Just gonna make little holes around the field to let it grow back in. Alright, anything good? Nah, nothing is ready. Oh, wait, no, one thing's ready. It's a port nip. Oh, to the seed maker. Yeah, I guess I'll, sp I'll just fill in the rest of the holes with just, like, uh, tomatoes at this point. Or... Hold on. Oh, wow, one of these wasn't even A quality. Okay, uh... Winter to summer. We have time to plant these, but I better do that soon. So hold on to that for now. That's going in there. Okay. So yeah, I guess today is a pretty good day to go to the dig site then. There we go. Alright, let's get that milk. How much room do I even have? I have room for two more animals, yeah. So if we get a star cow and a bull, that's gonna be the entire barn right there. I'm gonna need to expand the barn at that point. And then once the barn is expanded, I think we'll have the chance to start, uh, doing some breeding on the farm. Alright, let's go to the dig site then. And I guess I'll buy some fertilizer on the way back home. Do I want to buy any more seeds to, to uh, hybridize? We are getting to summer soon. Maybe not a bad idea, maybe to get some like melons and other things that grow in summer. We'll see. 
So what would it be? Melons, watermelons, and tomatoes again? Those seem to be the most reliable crops right now. Because a lot of the other things don't grow until fall. Oh, I guess I also have some good uh, seeds in storage, too. Oh, fruit juice. Perfect. I know how to make fruit juice now. I could have sworn I got that recipe before, haven't I? I guess not. Oh, it is still early. They're not done yet. Okay, you know what? While we're waiting for them to open up the dig site, uh, I'm going to go grab myself some stuff from Vesta's farm. Oh, their tomatoes are in harvest soon, or soon, right now. You think you think they would notice if I just like stole a couple of crops? <laughs> All right, so what do we got here? No, so melons. I guess turnips. All right, let's get like ten melon seeds, just to hybridize, and then maybe ten turnips. I guess we'll also grab watermelons and tomatoes. I'm gonna focus mainly on the crops that grow during the summer. Oh, yeah, while well, I'm here. You know, the usual order. Which is accidentally going up every single time I try to buy more. Okay. So 9 a.m. Uh, dig site should be opening up soon. And by opening up, I mean they'll go to work so I can dig. I still need to find the tablet piece for this chapter. And I guess the more stuff we dig up, the more stuff I have to give away if I need to. What the? Oh. Floor is just hanging out with the Tanuki again. Actually, wait, have we seen this scene before? Man, why can't the Tanuki come hang out with me? I want to hang out with a cool Tanuki friend. I'm pretty sure that's a Tanuki, right? Uh, Laura, where are you going? Wait, are you guys not digging today? There is something right there, but I'm not allowed to dig without permission. Wait, I'm kind of confused. Are you guys actually not digging today for some reason? <laughs> also, you guys have been living here for years at this point. Um, maybe it's a, if you know you're going to stay here long term, maybe it's time to build an actual like cabin or something to live in. Like, tents are cool and all, but after the first year, I would kind of consider maybe making something more permanent. Oh, there they go. Perfect. Oh, is the rain stopping? Rain stopping. Well, I still want to dig anyways. Oh, wait, they won't let me dig until 10, I think. All right, what do we got here? Nice gemstone. Have we found gemstone before? You know what else I could do with these things? Next time Van's in town, I could just sell him all these gemstones we've been finding. Like, or golden things tend to sell for uh, quite a bit. Coins, I definitely want to just hoard. Because... There are certain characters that definitely like coins. I know... 
Actually, does walling like coins? Okay, I know definitely a bunch. Well, I know a bunch of characters like coins. So we'll just kind of hoard those for a little while. Carter, stop walking over the dig site. That's how you break artifacts. Okay, so far, not much. Oh wait, no, there's something in here. All right, gemstone. But yeah, this is basically this game's version of the mine. <clears throat> of the mine. I don't know if I prefer it to the mines though. On the one hand, like, the mines can definitely be a lot, like, pretty annoying to work in in a lot of other games. But I kind of feel like that makes it a bit more rewarding as well. Because you need to go down there to get, like, ores and rare items that help you out throughout the rest of the game. In this one, honestly, you could probably ignore the dig sign and just be completely fine. The fact that they had to add in a tool upgrading system in the, in the remake, um... Kind of tells you about the weird, like, mechanics of the original game. Because I'm pretty sure in the original game, you could just straight up out, like, out of the gate, if you had enough money, just buy the best items in the game, or buy the best tools in the game. And even then, they didn't do much. Like, I don't think you can charge them in the original game. They just held more things or used in less energy. There were some hidden tools if you got through friendship, but otherwise, yeah, I'm kind of glad they made kind of more incremental in this game. Actually, yeah, honestly, that's kind of one of the things I liked about the remake. It definitely added some more progression systems, it feels like. Like, more structures to actually buy. Make them actually cost more, I think. Actually, no, they might cost the same as in the original, but there's more to buy, so it feels like as you're saving up the money and getting more things, it definitely helps out in the long run. Because I feel like in the original, once you got to, like, halfway through the game, you kind of did everything you could. At least from what I when I played. Not the humble brag or anything. Actually, no, definitely not the humble brag. Because the first time I played this game, I was like, what, 11? This game came out in, what, 20? No, I was like 12 or 13. Oh, found it. That's what I wanted. Alright, uh, we'll dig for a little while longer and then get out of here. But yeah, when I first played this game, I was like 12 or 13, I want to say. I did not under- like, I did not discover hybrid crops, by the way, my first playthrough. I think it was just because I never went into Takakura's house, ever. Despite being right there, I never went in and discovered the fact that you can make hybrid crops. Anyways, found this for you. Alright, well, you take what you needed. That's fine. Yes. Oh, the one I dug up for you like two years ago? Okay, so you understand how to see circle, triangle, and square. This better not be a PlayStation reference. That wouldn't even make sense in the original game. Just be I don't know if they changed this or not. I don't remember the dialogue in the original, but it wouldn't even make sense in that game because that was on a GameCube. It was a GameCube exclusive for years. So I'm pretty sure that's not some supposed to be a PlayStation reference. Yo. But we'll see. Uh -huh. 
We'll see what the rest of those, like, uh, tablets say. Alright, let's make some hybrid crops. Oh, it's also sunny, so we can let the animals out, finally. Out you go. Go on and enjoy the sunshine. And the free food that I don't have to feed you. Oh, nice. Got another wonder and got some cash. How much money do I have right now? 20k. So we're about of a, a third of the way to my goal. Alright. Hey, Vinny. Yep, can I uh, mix? Thank you. Alright, I want to mix some melons and turnips. What is this going to give me? Turn melon, alright. I need to also just check what seasons these grow in, by the way. Summer to autumn, perfect. So we can plant those, like, immediately. Oh, no, not immediately. We can plant those in, like, a couple of days. Don't plant those immediately. Me. Alright, watermelon and... Melons don't seem to be working out the best. Oh, no, we made them. Perfect. Is that the first time I mixed a watermelon and a melon? I guess so. Hmm. Seems the success rate is a bit on the lower side. How about a turnip and a watermelon? Okay, I have planted those, or mixed those up before. Uh, I guess we'll mix these. Hmm. Seems like melons don't want to mix with watermelons, weirdly enough. Even though they're both melons. Actually, I don't know if watermelons and melons are actually related, or if they're just kind of similar. Maybe they're related. They are both melons. Darn. Alright, uh, I have one more watermelon seed. Let's mix that with the tomato and use that. Yep, alright. Uh, I think that's everything. You know what I could do? I don't know if I can even plant these yet, but what if I mix a, uh, potato with, I don't know, a mellow mellow. Oh, it actually gave me something new, or something I've already used. I know there are definitely some combinations of hybrids that give you different things. But we'll figure that out some other time. Alright, I'm going to put away what I can't plant yet, just so I'm not... I don't accidentally plant them. Oop. I don't accidentally plant them and let them die. You can plant those. Yep. Yep. Not yet. And... I can plant those. Wait, can I plant all these? I guess I can plant all of these. Alright. But with that, I think we're going to wrap things up for today. Summer is almost here. Oh yeah, a bunch of these crops are about to grow in. Another day or two and they'll be ready. Alright, so let's look forward to that. So, next time on Let's Play Story of Seasons of Wonderful Life, uh, we're going to finish up our second fall and get into summer. So, till then. <laughs>